Hey guys, this is Ray Andre. I'm a music producer from Florida, Florida man. And today I'm gonna to be reacting to V and his raw and soulful recording vocals. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh man, I have actually heard this song, My Universe, that BTS did with Coldplay, but I'm so excited to listen to it. I, this is the type of music that I love, as I can hear right now, just that little snippet. Um, that bass line, you know, the, the groovy bass drum, that's just my style of music that I love, that like funky kind of, um, you know, soulful vibe. So I'm definitely going to listen to that. If you guys want me to listen to that and to react to it, make sure you comment down below. Also check out my website, uh, first look in the description, and I'll be reacting to it. But let's keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That is soulful. You know, that type of uh, song, I wouldn't typically think that it would go with that type of voice because it's doing very airy, very, yeah, soulful. Like, na -na 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 -na, like that type of voice. But in this case, it actually really, really works. I, I really excited. I'm really excited. I don't want to listen to this. Nice. <laughs> okay, oh. nah. That was perfect. By the way, just recording with Coldplay, like that, what Martin, Steve Martin, Chris Martin <laughs> is doing there uh, is actually what most producers do. You know, you sit with an artist and you kind of just guide them to say, okay, record this way, do it this way. It's better if you do it, did it this way. That sounds great. That's what a producer does. So um, Chris Martin there is doing the role of a producer, right? I think that's his name, right? Comment down below if I'm wrong or if I'm right. I'm not sure. <laughs> Again, so airy, a lot of air. Like that type of voice is uh, very difficult to to hit when you're in the studio. <laughs> When you're doing this type of recording, that he's getting so close to the microphone that it actually catches a lot of the bass of the voice. Usually when you get really close to the microphone and you sing airy and it's light, you get both the, the boomy, the chest aspect of the voice and you get the air. So that's a great technique that he's doing there. I have never heard of uh, Neve or Neve. I don't know how you pronounce that. Let me know in the comments. But um, man, jamming sessions, uh, recording sessions, it's literally what I love to do. Like I love to do that. It's its so fun. And I bet these guys enjoy it too. You know, just, just playing on the guitar and, and jam and you get the sound you want by just jamming and then you end up recording an actual song. It's, it's pretty great. Look at that jamming, real nice. Um, I think he, is he speaking both English and Korean? It sounded like definitely some English in there, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Ooh, all right, check out how he went from low to just that falsetto. That was a pretty smooth change there.
Wow, he could actually reach pretty high there, and it seemed like almost effortless. See, that's how meticulous you have to be. You listen back to a recording, and, and then you're like, wait a minute, that word, like that but, you know, like let's just change that one word. And it's such a big deal. It seems like such a small part of everything, but it really could make a really big deal, you know? So um, you watch out for all that kind of stuff when you're recording. Uh, it's so interesting that the staff, you know, whoever was playing the role of a producer or engineer there, the type of input that they have, you know, for a final draft, if you think about it, it's, it's quite a lot. I've, I've heard the song before. I think I've included this in one of my reactions. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here because I hear two different songs. Where's my answer? How do we put you to? Again, I'm not sure what I'm listening to here. It's something different. It's not. It's definitely not the studio recording version. Um, I think they might have included it from the audio from some something else, maybe like a phone recording of the studio version of the acapella, of the actual vocal recording. Um, that's what it sounds like to me. I don't remember RM's part in this song. So much effort put into the vocal, man. Man, people don't know this. You, there's a lot of effort put into this. It, it really takes a lot. Wow, is that still V? That's crazy. It sounds completely different. It sounds like somebody else entirely. There's a poppy. A merry little Christmas. Oh. You know, it's February, it's March now, I guess, but I really, really just like Christmas songs. A merry little Christmas. Let your heart be right. From now on, your trouble will be out. Upside. That's beautiful, man. I understand why a lot of people like V's vocals the best because he's got such a such an interesting and defined tone, you know. No one can match no one can match his tone when it comes to singing. It, it's very unique. It's very uh soulful, I think is a, is a good word for it. And it, it's got a lot of air to it if he applies that technique, which I actually really enjoy. <laughs> I really have to listen to this song, man. That's, it sounds like, I'm gonna analyze it. Just make sure you click the first link in the description. I'm gonna analyze this song and let you know exactly what's going on in the background, because um, it's sounding good so far. Hmm. 
it's crazy how he goes he can sing low and then he goes really really crazy high that's one thing i've noticed about v um there's another one another member of the group that sings really high at jiming he sings really high um but his register doesn't quite go as low which uh but he sings crazy high but that's what i think it's interesting about v's voice I loved reacting to this one in the soup. I reacted to the whole in the soup. That was real fun the, in the soup recording. They really were just having like a fun time in this one. And it ended up being an actual song. That's like when you're winding down, when you're just putting down ideas, when the song is already set, and you're just putting those extra last little tidbits that are going to make the song even better. That's what's happening right now. Wow, he was crying. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I gotta listen to this too, man. I love this. You know, I love if you guys have a list of all these like funky style songs you want me to listen to from BTS and react to, I will do it, man. I will do it. Again, check out my website. First link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> what song is this? I've never heard it before, but um, wow, he's singing with a lot of passion behind this right here. Wow, the way he sings that wonder, it's just, just listen to the air in that, man. He definitely got that technique down, like that airy voice. You should practice that if you're a singer, practice putting a lot of air behind it. It really changes, especially in a recording. Live is a little tricky, but in a recording, if you put a lot of air in it and you're on pitch, it really changes the sound of a, of a vocal. Matter of fact, you can add whispers later on if you sing the same thing, sing the line, and then add you whispering the same line again, you get almost the same effect, um, but without having to sacrifice some of the tone from the actual recording of it. Yeah, I, I remember this. I remember uh, we were all waiting for uh, Jungkook to do the ad libs at the end. <laughs> they really both look like they're enjoying themselves. Ooh, that chord change. Nice. That was real nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you watch this video here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.